Hello everybody, welcome back. You know, I actually didn't think they could make a worse comic book movie, especially when we got the horrible movies like Thor Love and Thunder or uh, movies from last year from Marvel, the Marvels at that. That movie was horrendous. Aquaman 2 was even worse. But that's the beautiful thing, I guess, about the movie world. When you think things just can't get any worse, they somehow do get worse. They, they somehow are able to pull that off. I don't know how, but they somehow do it. The title for worst comic book movie now goes to Madam Web. When I went to go see this movie, I didn't really have a clue what was going on because I never actually even heard of Madam Web. I didn't know what kind of care hero she was or what she does or what her powers are. All I just knew was that, which I found out later, that she was part of the Spider-Man universe. But here's the thing. This is a Sony movie, not a Disney movie. So they can't put Spider-Man in it. So you know what they do? They take a guy that looks like Spider-Man and put him in this movie and just don't call him Spider-Man. Genius, right? <laughs> no. That was stupid as fuck. The only thing just as bad as our villain here is the title or character who is playing Madam Web. It's played by Dakota Johnson. You guys should remember her from the... Fifty Shades movies that she was in and she is you would think that her being an EMT her character being an EMT would make you think that she wants to save lives so when she gets superpowers you would think oh yes she wants to save lives she's gonna do something with these powers you would think wrong because I mean these other characters that she's supposed to be protecting who are one-sided as well by the way you would think that she needs to protect them because she's seen their future and she knows what they would become, but no. She's like dropping them off at their house saying like, oh, your parents can deal with your shit. I'm not protecting you. I'm like, what the fuck, lady? You can see the future. You gotta protect them. What, you only save lives as long as they're paying you for it? What kind of superhero are you? The script as well is just... God, I even have the words to describe how awful this mo the script writing was in this movie. I mean, I guess you could say it was written by three-year-olds, but then again, it's probably even worse. It was written by the same guys who wrote Morbius, so I shouldn't be surprised there. You would think that screenwriters nowadays, when they make mistakes, they try to learn from them so that they can write better and better screenplays and get better over time, but not this, these guys. I mean, there's there only one way to say this. This is garbage. You found this outside amongst garbage. This movie was basically set up to fail. I mean... I mean, honestly, I feel more bad for the actors or the actresses who played in this movie, the ones who played our main characters, because this is like, they lost the moment they walked on set the first day. This is a combination of bad directing, bad screenwriting, and of course, horrendous CGI. I mean, they lost the moment they signed the contract to say that they played these characters for this movie. Because this movie was a setup for failure. Overall, I mean, there is nothing good to say about this movie. This is probably the first time I'm ever giving this grade to a film on my channel, but Madam Web gets an F. F standing for failure, flop, flunky. It's just that horrendous of a movie. Well, I won't be that watching that movie ever again. If you guys have seen Madam Web, please comment here down below what your thoughts were on it. Also, if you like my other videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time, and let me just say one good thing in this video. I hope all you couples out there have an epic Valentine's Day.